Welcome to the final episode of Singing Our Faith. Whether you've just joined recently or whether you've been with us from the beginning, what a joy it has been to sing through the Presbyterian hymnal, Glory to God. A special thanks to the musicians and staff at First Presbyterian Church for making this possible. And a special thank you to Laura Collins, who has edited all of these episodes for us. They'll remain on YouTube, and you're welcome to go back and view them again, or if you've just joined recently, to go back and catch up from the beginning. The final section that we'll be singing from today are the remaining hymns and songs under the category Trusting in the Promises of God. Number 846, Fight the Good Fight, might strike the modern ear by the word fight and remind us of militaristic imagery that doesn't go well with the life of faith. However, the text is using an athletic image that was often used in the New Testament epistles. We'll sing verses 1 and 2 that encourages us to fight the good fight and to run the straight race. The final section of Glory to God has included a number of psalm paraphrases. 847 is a paraphrase of Psalm 49. Our hope, our life, is set to a familiar English folk melody. We'll sing verses 1, 2, and 4 that begins with the words, Our hope, our life are in the Lord. Another psalm paraphrase, number 848, Trust in God, is a paraphrase of Psalm 125. As we sing in verses 1 and 2, which echoes language from Psalm 121 we ended the previous episode with, another psalm of ascent was likely being sung by ancient Hebrew pilgrims as they journeyed to Jerusalem.
everyone who longs for the boundless love of God, number 849, is a moving hymn from Korea. I can remember as part of the hymnal committee, we had made this selection before we had made any of our selections known, as was our practice when we would meet in Louisville, we would often lead worship in the Presbyterian Center. We chose this hymn on a day not knowing that a contingent of Korean Presbyterians were also meeting in Louisville, and we worshiped together. And this song brought tears to their eyes and to ours as we lived into the hope that this text has for the beauty of unity in the church. We'll sing all verses. translation of a Chinese hymn, number 850, In a Deep Unbounded Darkness, is set to a plain song we've sung several times in Glory to God. As we sing all four verses, we recall creation and God's history with God's people as a firm foundation for our continued trust in the promises of God.
to God is a South African song of prayer. We're invited to bring our burdens to God in trust because, as the final phrase has us sing, Jesus will never say no. We will sing and enjoy the harmony of this short song. Using a familiar gospel hymn tune, number 852, When the Lord Redeems the Very Least, is a joyful celebration of God's fulfillment of God's promises. The refrain exudes our joy as we sing repeatedly, we will rejoice with gladness. All our days we sing to God in praise, we will rejoice. Final song in Glory to God, number 853, is a freedom song from South Africa. We are marching in the light of God. Siahamba. As we sing the song it's in, in its entirety, we remember our journey through Glory to God that began in God's presence with Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God Almighty, number one. 
which reflects the vision and revelation of worship in heaven in the very presence of God. We end our journey now once again celebrating God's presence that is worthy of our trust, praise, and joy. Amen.